So I want to deal with verse 9 when it says, Return to your mistress and submit to her. I've heard a lot of people using this verse against victims of abuse, stating God told Hagar to go back to her abuser. That's not necessarily the whole truth from the context of this passage. We were talking about what Hagar was doing. She was being disrespectful to her mistress, and she fled the house. And keep in mind, back in that day, there were no women's shelters. You couldn't just leave and go get a job and take care of yourself, especially a pregnant one. God knew that if she would have stayed out there, she would have died, starved to death, or some horrible thing may have happened to her. And so the best course of action was for her to go and apologize to Sarai and humble herself. And so God saying, return to your mistress and submit to her. That doesn't mean that your situation right now is the same as Hagar's. So don't let somebody quote this verse as a reason for you not to leave your spouse. This is not the same thing. We have resources. We have ways to help you. Don't let somebody trick you or twist scripture into making you stay in a relationship that's dangerous or abusive. 